Hey everyone, it's Even Bigger Jono. Welcome back to more Pokemon Platinum. Last time, we got here to Salaceon Town and went through the Lost Ruins and Salaceon Ruins as well. In this episode, there is an item that I missed just real quick right here. That was a big mushroom in Diamond and Pearl to Honey, I believe, which you, you guys kind of got ripped off there because the big mushroom is so much better than honey. It's not like you need that much honey anyway, but anyway. Wow, I just said anyway twice. Um, anyway. I was thinking anyway again. Uh, that was a daycare center, by the way. Uh, I guess if you want to raise a Pokemon and be, be or be lazy, you can take your Pokemon there, whatever. Or you can just, you know, breed Pokemon there. That's cool too. So, I just want to go to the Mart real quick. I'm going to buy just a couple of items before I go out on my journey to Veilstone City because it is annoying between here and Veilstone City is the most ridiculous route in the entire Pokemon game, or in the Pokemon series, in my opinion. Route 210 is ridiculous. Um, it's not only, it's not that it's long, it's just that the trainers on here are crazy. It's just, oh god, I don't even know. Um, anyway, I'm selling a couple of items now. I sold my nugget there. You, you can sell a big mushroom for $2,500 each, which is why I said the big mushrooms are so much better than honey, because I'd rather, I'd rather honey over... I mean, I'd rather money over freaking honey. Wow, that rhymes. Is that supposed to rhyme? Okay. Anyway. Let's head out to Route 210. Yay! Wait a minute. Is there any items there? No, there isn't. But there is a double battle here that we have to be a part of. Hooray! And they're apparently father and daughter. Okay... What? Okay, whatever. Uh, they got a Rapidash and a Ponytar. Let's just kill these things real quick. Uh, let's go Wing Attack. That's right, I used Quick Attack on a giant horse. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that, but whatever. Flame Wheel. Oh, wow, how could you gang up on... How could you just do that to Eevee? It's... Come on. Way to gang up on Eevee! Come on! Really? Ugh. Alright, fine. Go, Monferno. Show them what a real fire type Pokemon's like. Ugh, take this, Rapidash. Ugh, die. God, wow, what? Come on. Well, at least Ponytar's dead. Goodbye. Okay. God, what is it with them attacking the Pokemon on the left-hand side of the screen? I mean, they utterly destroyed Eevee, and now they're getting up on Monferno. I mean, come on, what is this? Oh, God, I can see where this episode's going. Because, you know, every second battle, I'm going to be going back to the Pokemon Center, which I'm about to do right now. Oh, God, wow, I didn't, wow, I didn't even get a level up from that. That's gay. What a crap battle. Uh, before I go any further, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my Water Stone to evolve Eevee into Vaporeon. Because while I was at the Pokemon Center, I was looking at Vaporeon's move, Vaporeon and Eevee's movesets for Generation 4, and they learn the exact same things up to level 35 anyway, so I'm not really missing out on anything. So I might as well just, you know, get the type advantage now with Vaporeon. Yay! So we have Vaporeon now, one of my favorite Eeveelutions. Okay. Right, over here... Okay, right over here is a wild Pokemon, apparently. Go away, Saravia. Seriously. Oh my god, look at my Vaporeon! Ah! Okay. Right, so we have an Asper Berry here. And over here is a Raspberry. God, how many of those have we seen? Far out. So many of them. And right here is a pineapple berry. I'm pretty sure most of the berries are based on real life fruit. So like that's supposed to be like a pineapple. You have like a straw berry. Get it? Strawberry. Yep. I am not kidding. Good job. Wow. How many times did I want to run into that sign? Uh, I believe there's an item over there that we might want to... I am goddamn sick of these aroma ladies interrupt me, interrupting me every single time I go... To... You're not an aroma lady. You're a Pokemon breeder, okay. And you have a Magby. Wonderful. 
such a tragedy that we don't have any water type moves with Vaporeon yet, because we could have easily destroyed this Magby and you're using Smoke Screen. For the love of God, alright. <sighs> you're missing already? Wow, you're using it again? <sighs> Come on. Thank you. Okay. You did a whole 1 HP damage! Fire Spin is the worst fire type move ever, okay? Why are you even using it? It is just crap. You have Ember and you're using Fire Spin? What? What logic is that? Why would you use Fire Spin over Ember? I don't even know. Oh, come on. I mean, I know you get the extra damage from, from Fire Spin, but come on. The initial damage is crap. 1 HP it did. I mean, ooh. 1 HP! Why are you missing? Stop missing, Vaporeon! Stop sucking! Oh, come on! I'm getting destroyed by Fire Spin here. What the hell is life, even? I've lost 40 HP! Thank you. What have you got next, you silly person? A Togepi. You have baby Pokemon. Understandable, you're a breeder, but okay. We should easily be able to take this thing out. Togepi against Luxio. Yeah, you have no chance, lady. Alright. Die. What? You gotta be kidding me! How did this survive a spark from a Luxio? I don't even... Well... Screw you! Oh, I don't even know how you survived that. Well, anyway. Luxio is level 27. We're three levels away from evolving. Yes! Just in time for the Valsone Gym Badge. Gym Badge. Gym Fight. Um... I know there is a red candy over here. I just gotta remember where it is. I just... Hmm. Might be in this grass patch. Ugh. Grass patch, actually. Let's have a look. Gotta get a fun bike. Oh! You, Whoa! Alright then. A Scyther. Okay. Was not expecting that to jump out of me, but alright. Let's just, you know, run from this thing. I don't really need a Scyther. Alright. I know that there is a rare candy in this patch of grass somewhere. I am 100% sure of it. Although, oh, <laughs> uh, Diamond of Hell players get ripped off once again. You guys, there it is. Red candy, right there. You guys get a great ball. <laughs> wow, sucks to be Diamond of Hell players right now. Oh, uh, we don't need to go there yet. Okay, there's an item over there. Let's go grab it. But unfortunately, we have to take on two trainer fights just for a freaking item. I don't even remember what it is. But uh, Wow, that's a dick move by Nintendo. Putting a double battle right as you get to the bottom of the stairs. I mean, come on. The hell is this? Terry and Tia, and you have a Pikachu and a Clefairy. Right, uh, that's a relatively easy fight. Let's get rid of Pikachu first because I am seriously weak to Pikachu. I have a flying and a water type, so let's just quickly get rid of it. Oh, of course. I had a feeling that was going to happen. I mean, God. Freaking static. Jesus Christ. Oh, come on! Both Pokemon! There's like a 30% chance of that happening, and it happened at both Pokemon. Why are you using Wake Up Slap? What? Wake Up Slap is the stupidest move! And how the hell does Follow Me have priority over Quick Attack? <laughs> what? I thought Quick Attack had priority over Follow Me. And why do you even have that? Follow me is the stupidest move. Oh, God, I'm sorry if I'm complaining a lot, but that's just disgraceful. I hope you guys die in a fire. All right. Now, oh, I didn't even mean to do that. Just, we're so close to the item. All right, whatever, let's just take you on anyway. 
Yes, um, I am doing an extra long episode today because I figured this is probably about one-fifth of the way through the LP, so I thought, hey, let's celebrate by doing an extra long episode. I'm just giving that about, a, about an estimate anyway. I mean, 20 episodes through, yeah, that'd be about a fifth of the way. And wonderful, no, it's low kick. And wonderful, I am being parahaxed. And it's using low kick again. I'm going to get destroyed by an Ella kid because I keep getting parahaxed. Oh. Why did you not use that first? By the way, what the hell is with all the baby Pokemon in this route? I mean, come on. It's like we've, we've seen a we've seen a Mag be a Togepi. Now he's an Ella kid. Next thing we'll see is a freaking Cleffa. Or something like a Cleffa or a Peony or something like that. I guarantee that'll be the next Pokemon. And how is that even? How is Elekid faster than my Rosella? I mean, come on. What the hell is even going on in this episode? Freaking crap. Right. Well, I was right. Hapini. Okay, so. Okay, you're a breeder too. Well, why, why didn't I even take note of that? Alright. Now, I know the Hapini line has a decent special defense, but it really shouldn't take. Wow, it actually took that pretty well. And it's using Charm. I don't know why it would do that since I'm using a special attack. Uh, uh, game logic. Let's go Giga Drain anyway. Yes! You know, I've always thought that Giga Drain is a little bit ripped off at how powerful it is. I've always thought Giga Drain should have like a power of 80 or 90. I mean, come on, 60. That's really ridiculous. Alright. Now, definitely after this fight, I'm going to heal. I am not going through this route with my Vaporeon dead and a paralyzed Golbat. This will be the second time I've had to go back to the Pokemon Center already. And yay, Roselli grew to level 27. And we're not even like halfway through the route yet. Wow, how much experience did I just get? All right. So up here is a super, super repel. We went through all of that for a super repel? What? Uh, by the way, if you talk to this lady here, she'll give you 1051, which contains Roost, which is a flying type move. It's pretty much the flying type version of uh, Recover. Re like, but the only problem with Roost though is at the end of that turn, your Pokemon is susceptible, is susceptible to ground type moves. So, in turn, you get 50 HP or 50% HP back, but you will be able to get hit by ground type moves on the next turn. Anyway, you can buy a dozen Moo Moo Milks here. Moo Moo Milks are really, really good because they heal up to 100 HP. So they're pretty much like twice as good as a Super Potion and they are a lot cheaper than a Super Potion. So Moo Milks are a lot better than Super Potions. Keep that in mind. They're only $500 a bottle or you can get a dozen or whatever like that. So yes, Route 215 now. Okay, now this is one of the most annoying routes in the entire game for me because it just drags out and they're just... Uh, <laughs> You're a hunter, okay, that's fantastic. Alright, so, uh, this guy has two... Oh, uh, Vapor... I mean, a Vapor and a Bronzor, are you serious? I don't have anything good against this because it's raining and Monferno's flame will be utterly useless because it just cuts its power in half anyway, so... Alright. Might just cut this fight out, actually. Right. No, you're just weak. Um, Just here is a max ether in Diamond and Pearl's an ether. Again, you guys got ripped off bad. <laughs> right, this guy here will give you TM66, which is uh, Pursuit. Basically, if Pursuit is a move that does, that does twice the amount of damage if your opponent goes to switch you out in the same turn. Which is pretty good. So realistically, it has a power of 80 if your opponent goes to switch out. So it's a pretty decent move. I guess it's better for, for tournament battles though. Not so great for single player though, because it's very rare that the AI decides to switch out anyway. You have to fight this guy to get that item there. So I guess we'll just go ahead and fight him right now. <laughs> he's, he's technically a required fight, so there is no reason for me to skip this. So I guess I'll just have to show it. All right, so level 23 March up. All right, so, um, man, I'm so annoyed that Vaporeon doesn't know a water type move or even an ice type. I know it learns Aurora Beam on level 36, but we're still 12 levels away from that. And it's not going to be for another at least probably 10 to 12 episodes until we actually get to that. So, ugh. 
And my quick attack's barely doing anything. Great, it's using Seismic Toss. Seismic Toss does the amount of damage that your foe's, H uh, that your foe's level is at. So if it's le level 23, it'll do 23 HP damage. Which is really good for early in the game. Later in the game, it's not so good, I guess, unless you want consistency in damage. But, um... It's... Really, if you're going to be using that for a tournament battle, you're kind of ridiculous because it's not that good for tournament battles. <laughs> uh, where did my chocolate go? I have a feeling that my mother came in here and ate it earlier, which is kind of annoying because I really wanted to eat chocolate while I was recording this video because it's Easter at the time that I'm recording this video. Um. Whoa! Crap! Oh! That's just... Rape. Revenge is a move that does more damage when, well, more damage the lower your HP is, and that's probably on the lowest HP you can get it at. Which is truly a shame for my... <laughs> I just don't understand why it would use revenge on me like that. That's just ridiculous. That's like so overpowered. Alright, well anyway, at least Goldback grows to level 27 now, which is good for us. Oh, it's trying to learn Air Cutter. Oh, I guess I can get rid of Astonish. I mean, I'm not really going to be using Astonish. And plus, I know Air Cutter is a special type attack. And Goldback special attack is really nothing to be desired. But, um, I just want to keep Air Cutter there just until I can get a better physical type, uh, flying type move. Uh, which will be soon enough, I guess. I, I know I'll definitely be teaching my Goldback fly eventually, but yeah. I mean, it's always decent to have one half decent special top attack move on there just in case you know because they might lower my attack stat to absolutely nothing so i guess it's kind of handy to have that there <laughs> okay so at last this guy's got one more perk one it's machop again jeez three machops oh that's ridiculous come on come on game you can do better than that all right well at least he's dead now I find it funny how I say he's dead now. It's just like the guy died. I don't know. Yeah, I beat you. Now you must die. You must die! Anyway, right there is guarding a, fi a fist plate. Wow, I read that as fat plate. I'm terrible. Um, so yeah, really nothing to, nothing worth to get, I guess. It's just a bit of a dumb thing. I mean, if you happen to catch that certain Pokemon I was talking to you about, then I guess it's handy, but yeah. I will not get into that uh, just yet, though. I'll be definitely be getting into that much later. Anyway, we had two Petra Berries there. We've got two Block Berries here. Uh, okay, so now that we are done there, I am going to... Where are you? Use my Revive on my Vaporeon, because I just cannot be bothered anymore to go back to the Pokemon Center. That's just dumb. Oh, wow, look at that. I have exactly 100 HP. So my Super Potion is actually doing what it's supposed to do and fully healing 50 HP. Okay, and up here is a Hyper Potion. Wow, okay. Uh, I believe we can start buying Hyper Potions in the next town anyway. And I thought I had a Repel Up! Apparently I didn't. Wow, a useless Pokemon jumped out at me. Hello, Meryl. You aren't as cool as my Vaporeon, so you can go away. Go away. Yeah, okay. Actually, while I'm here, I might as well put my repel up. Where else? There you are. All right. Wow, I don't even know why I pressed down there. It, I pressed... I pressed B twice! Why did I do that for? I'm an idiot, I swear to God. Okay, I thought I'd come up here and battle this guy because I missed him. Plus, I need the extra experience anyway, so... Yay, we're making this episode even longer than it should be. And wow, you have a Krogong. We haven't seen Krogong yet. At least, I don't think we have. Krogong is a poison fighting type. Really unique types. They're really not a bad Pokemon. Toxic Croak is actually pretty good. Awesome physical attacker, they really are, so. Yes, alright. Golbat is the ideal Pokemon for this job because it is quite resistant to fighting and resistant to poison, but it knows faint attack apparently, so. Ah, oh, well, at least it's like. I don't think it really would know any super effective type attacks. I don't think it would know any rock or electric type moves. So, I mean, it can learn rock type moves, like rocks. I mean, like, you know, rock tube and stuff like that. But I don't think it can learn anything like Thunderbolt or anything. I mean. Ah, okay. Well, I don't even know what I'm going on about it anymore. It's late. I swear to God, it just said derpiness, but I don't even know. Alright, so. 
I don't think there's any... I don't think I missed any items. I just want to double check there because... I would be pretty devastated if I missed an item, which I don't think I did, so... Alright, now that I don't think we missed any items, let's move on. And there is a pointless cut tree up there. I don't really think it's necessary to go through there anyway, but yay. Yet another fight. This is why I hate Route 210. As much as I love trainer fights, and I think it's great that, you know, we need the experience, they really overdid it with this route. There is wild grass everywhere. There is trainers everywhere. It's just nuts. They just, they just overdid it so much. Uh, Vaporeon really needs to learn a water type move or something like that now. Something. Oh, uh, God. Can't wait to get Surf, seriously. Really looking forward to getting Surf. Oh, wonderful! Taunt just makes it so you can't use the same move twice in a row. So now I am restricted to using Quick Attack only once every second turn. Oh, I'm still faster anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, actually, I think. Quick attack does a little bit little bit more damage to tackle, I think. Not 100 percent sure there, but yeah. I think I know quick attack's power of 40, but I can't remember if tackle's 35 or 40. It's one or the other, I know that. Alright, level 25. Awesome. Maybe I can use that rare candy I got in Vapor to I can use that rare candy on Vapor and get a level 26, so it's at least somewhat level with my other po excuse me, other Pokemon. Hmm, we'll go in the Lux here for this. I would really like all of my Pokemon to be at least level 28 to 29 for the next gym fight because her highest Pokemon is level 32, so that might be a little bit of, little bit of a problem for us right now. And it's actually a pretty decent Pokemon too, so... But the state I'm at right now, I probably wouldn't really stand a chance against her. So you'll probably find that I'll do a little bit of off-screen training between this episode and the next one. Which doesn't really matter anyway. I mean, it's not, it's not like the videos will be coming out late because I've freaked I record like eight or nine videos in advance. Like, yeah. I'm recording this video probably about eight or nine days. Whoa! Which is the revenge again? God! What is with the revenge? Is. Oh! They're really flogging it. Wow, why is my alarm even going off? I actually set it for 8 54 pm. Instead of 8.54 a.m. Wow, I suck. No wonder my alarm didn't go off this morning. Alright, well now I know now. I thought my clock was just being a glitched up piece of crap, but apparently it was just me being a derp. Uh, whatever. Well, at least I wasn't late for work or anything like that, thanks to my iPhone. Uh, at least I have my alarm set on that. Okay. As I was... Oh, a Metatite. But yeah, as I was saying though, I do record these videos 8 to 9 episodes in advance so realistically I'm recording this video probably about eight or nine days before I even upload it to YouTube that is how much I record in advance so yeah thought I'd just let everyone know that anyway uh, I think there's a couple of items around here that we might want to get so let's just quickly put this repel on and just up here is an item it's a HP up which raises the base HP EV of your Pokemon. EVs I'll probably get into in a battle that we're about to be a part of because that battle just goes on forever so I might as well just talk about EVs then. Because really they're kind of in depth, like not many people can understand how EVs work and I believe around here somewhere is an Ultra Ball if I'm not mistaken. Just trying to find it. There it is on the map, okay so it should be just ahead of us. There it is, okay. I knew it was around here somewhere. All right, so, no items here, apparently there isn't. Oh, there's an item over here though. There is a full heal, which is like the old Gato, so. Yeah, all right, so, let's see what we got here. I will put Roselia at the front of my party with Vaporeon. All right, so, just say you're really gonna want to be prepared for these these uh for this fight here because it is not the easiest fight in the world. You've got two ace trainers, and ace trainers are generally pretty good. So for those of you who haven't played Generation 4 yet, uh Generation 4, they're called Ace Trainers this generation. Generation 2, they're called cool trainers, so they're essentially the same thing. Anyway, since this fight is just gonna drag out. You guys can see what's going on. I'll talk about EVs. EVs are basically 
at the wall. The EV is short for EVs are short for F values, which is what your Pokemon earns when they fight another Pokemon. So you know how you have attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and feed, uh, and speed, so feed, speed. Uh, your Pokemon will earn extra uh, values for those uh, stats when you level up. So every single time you participate in a battle. Uh, your Pokemon is earning EVs, so when, when, that's whenever you defeat a Pokemon. So say, for example, I'm bursting a Roselia, its max stats are special attack and special defense. So you'll get uh, max special attack, or you'll get special defense and special attack uh, EVs from defeating a Roselia. So in turn, you know when you level up, how it has how much your uh, your stats went up by, so it might say attack plus two, defense plus three, all that sort of stuff. That is your uh, stats for your Pokemon. So that is how many, that's, that's, that is the points it gained for that level. If you battle, say for example, a bunch of gay dudes which have high attack and defense EVs, you'll find that uh, that stat might go up by six or seven. Um, it's really only recommended to do uh, EV training if you're really participating in tournaments. It really isn't necessary to do it through a single player. Um, so that's all I can really recommend for that. Um, <laughs> what I just said about EVs just then, EVs just then is just the basic outline of it. Really, it's nothing in depth. That's just an outline of how EVs work. And crap, that gust attack did a lot. Uh, it's it's just a basic outline of how EVs actually work. So there are websites out there that you might be able to get a little bit more information. Like I I, I fully know about EVs. I just think it's easier to you know actually do it yourself. Like, explaining it, it's just so in depth to try and explain it. But it's just a lot easier if you can do it yourself, then... Ooh, we got a crit in that Rosillo, good. Uh, but yeah. Um, uh, I personally, I personally EV trained for my Pokemon when I participated in tournament, tournaments, like tournaments, what the f Uh, tournaments. I have a full EV trained, uh, in special defense and defense, uh, Umbreon. It is a beast. It really is. Oh, uh, by the way, I just thought I'd say that the max effort values you can get for one stat is 255. Um, but the max effort value you can get on the Pokemon is 510. So you can't get any more than 510 EV points on a Pokemon. And no more than 255 for one stat, if you know what I mean. It's 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 easy to understand, but yet at the same time, it isn't the easiest to understand. Uh, it's just, it depends on how you take it, I guess. And wow, crap, that thing goes psychic. Oh, you got, you got a special defense drop. Ugh, I hate this fight. But anyway, now that I'm kind of done about talking about EV training, let's go ahead and concentrate on this fight now because I am losing so badly. All right, let's see what I can do here. I'll go quick attack on Rolts and I'll go bite on Drifflim. Hopefully we can get rid of this Rolts by a crit. Ugh, wonderful. I'm not going to win this, am I? I? Swear to God, if I lose to... you got to be kidding me. It got the all stat rise. Ugh. All of its stats rose by one stage. Wonderful. Wow, there go three of my Pokemon in two moons. This is not looking good. Let's see. Alright, so. I only have Monferno and Golbat left. This is not looking good at all. Alright, so I guess I'll just get Monferno to mock punch that roll. So even though it's not very effective, it will kill it. And I'll just go bite on Grifflim. I'll get the critical hit now! For the love of God! Uh, Alright. I really don't know if I'll live through this because it's. Oh my God! Come on, get a crit. That barely did it anything. It's super effective. Come on. What a joke. Jesus Christ. This battle, I swear to God. I don't even know what to do here. I'm just going to confuse this Drifflin because it's driving me nuts. Wow, that didn't even do half. And we can say goodbye to Monferno now. Why is that thing faster than me? Drifflin isn't that fast. God. All right, at least it's confused now. Hopefully we can get the confuse hacks on it, which would be lovely. God. I might have to actually use the revive here just so I know I won't die. But first I'll send out Slave because Slave might be, might be able to take a hit or two for me. 
a while, but I'll just use up Slave's turn to just revive my Luxio, just in case. I mean, because I don't want to lose this. That'll be embarrassing. I mean, it's embarrassing enough that I'm already getting destroyed this badly, but God. All right, what can I do here? Come on, you know you want to hurt yourself. Thank you, God, wow. Luck went my way. Okay, come on, die. It's barely hanging on, and great. You're using the fence curl. That's just freaking wonderful. Come on, why don't you just kill my freaking slave yet? Yeah. You know what? Let's go roll out. See what that does. Go wing attack on Link, Linky Tongue. Come on, kill yourself. Yeah! Awesome, all right. Thank you, we're faster for once. God, I cannot believe that thing was outspeeding my goal batter. Doesn't make sense. It's, uh, geez. Oh, okay. You hit, so. And it barely did anything. <sighs> Alright, last two Pokemon. So we have a Buizel and the Lucky Ton to take care of. Luckily, I revived Luxio because we have a Buizel out there. Why are you using Pursuit? Why would I switch out? Right, using Air Carter because it hits both of them, and I got a crit! Yes! Alright, Golbat goes level 28. Awesome, just in time, too. And Slave goes to a point on level 14. That's actually pretty funny, because Slave is actually one level away from evolving. How funny is that? And you're a Slave. Why, uh, why aren't you killing Slave? What the hell? If Slave lives through this... What the hell? Slave lived through that? I mean, what? How? Come on! I mean, oh, I cannot believe that. Slave, you beast. I hate you. I still hate you, but yeah, you're a beast. Right, we're almost in, we're almost in Valsone City, and this hell long episode is almost over. Yay! I suppose I could cut it up into two videos, but I would like to upload a long video. I don't, I never upload long videos, and it's about time I gave you guys a nice long video, even though I was talking about absolute crap the entire time, but you know, this is half an hour worth of entertainment for you. Okay, yay, we're in Valstone City. So, how about you say we absolutely, absolutely, how about you, how about you say we look, check it out in the next episode. See you guys then.